welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled action figure review, and it is on the brand new Amazon exclusive AEW Unrivaled Chris Jericho gear pack, and this thing looks amazing, man. This is giving me real Jack Pacific vibes going on, man. You guys can see how beautiful it is. I did order two of these because, you know, I'm trying to grow the mock collection of the AEW figures. Trying to keep up. It's really tough, you know, between this and the two packs that are releasing on Amazon, and you got the exclusives and you got the Unmashed, and you got the Chases, and you got the Unrivaled. It's a lot of stuff in circulation right now, but it's starting to be the time where AEW figures, you can pretty much find them anywhere, which is so fantastic. But man, here we are, AEW Unrivaled, Chris Jericho, Amazon exclusive, front viewing window looking pretty damn good right here. You, you know, you can't get this from Ringside Collectibles. This is an Amazon exclusive, so if you want it, you gotta stay on the button to order this thing. But we're gonna crack it open and see all the great details, man. As you guys can see, Chris Jericho down here, eight pieces, Chris Jericho in gold foil, does say gear pack. AEW logo, AEW logo at the top on the side, another logo. It does not have a number. It just says gear pack. It says Chris Jericho with the image. On the back, you get La Champion. You got him wearing his little blazer right there. Watch AEW Dynamite, Chris Jericho. AEW logo up there. Same thing on the other side there. Not nothing but garbage on the bottom. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging for this Chris Jericho. I've been really excited to get my hands on these blazers, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack him out of his packaging and find out what the Amazon exclusive Jericho is all about. So here's Le Champion out of his packaging, looking pretty swell. You guys will notice there's some cardboard backings right here. The pink one, well, obviously it comes in the pink one, and the white one comes in the white one. It's, I guess, to give the jacket a good conformity if you keep it mock, which is really nice. But I decided to plug it back in there just because I didn't want it to be blank. I kind of like that it, you know, shows some color back there. So here's Chris Jericho, man. Lots of accessories with this guy. It is a gear pack, so it better come with some damn gear. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I agree with that. I like what we got going on. You guys know how the reviews work. We don't have multiple figures in here, so it's all about Chris Jericho today, which works for me. So what we're going to do is dive into Chris Jericho's accessories first, take a look at those damn nice jackets, and then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at Chris Jericho himself and do some football comparisons. So that being said, let's get into said accessories. So for this gear pack's accessories, man, I think we need to dive into the jackets first. I feel like the jackets are what you're pretty much paying for right here, guys. Here is the pink blazer. Feels really nice in hand. This pattern is not like sticking up. It's not like studs or anything. It's actually in the fabric, which is pretty nice. Like, I don't think this is going to fall off. You don't have to worry about it chipping off or anything. You guys can see the iridescent kind of, like, glittery effect going on. I love, like, this. What would that be? It's almost like a meshy material right here for the collar or the open parts right there in front of the blazer. You do get these nice sewn-on fake pockets right here, which are really nice. It does Velcro in the front right there. It has a nice satin material, it feels like, on the inside. Very high quality. Like, very, very nice. I like what we got going on. It reminds me a lot of, like, the entrance grates line, kind of, but you can Velcro it in the front like so, and then spinning it to the back. Nothing on the back, but the glitter looks fantastic. Like, holy crap, what a great looking jacket. I love the way this looks. We're going to take a look at what it looks like on the figure in a second, so we will dive into all that, but there's the pink jacket, and then, of course, you do have your other jacket, which is more of like a, like at first, it kind of looks just like a regular button-up shirt that would go under a jacket, but it is a nice satin material. Again, almost feels kind of like velvet. Is that what that's called? Or like silk, kind of? But you guys can see it does have the white collar going around which is really nice again just like the other one they are different though like they do velcro on the front but look the collar is is kind of different here as it wraps around you also don't have the pockets sewn on the front there and it gives you a little bit of a different look so again you can put the white blazer on a different guy and put the other on another guy now i almost feel like i need two of these for my collection or three i guess if you count my mock one but i have a mock one but now i feel like i need one to display the pink jacket one to display the white jacket and then with the extra white and pink jacket put those on other figures in my collection or display. So we'll have to see about that, but I really like the way the white jacket looks as well. Again, after we cover this segment and we get into the figure itself, we'll see what these look like on the figure and stuff like that. But outside of those accessories, we do get kind of what we've gotten with Chris Jericho over the time here. So we do have his scarf. It has Le Champion all, all pattern on there. It kind of sucks because it ends right there. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not how the bandana would work, right? Like, I feel like it would cover it all. It wouldn't just be on the front here and then disappear. But I guess his hair covers it is kind of, you know, it's going to be what their excuse is there, which I guess I understand. It makes sense there, but there's a Le Champion scarf. We've seen this before. We'll put this on the figure, too, when we try out the jackets. We also got an AEW microphone, and this looks pretty good. Seen this with countless people. AEW logo's a bit, feel like the AEW logo on this side's kind of misprinted, but it looks good. I like the sculpt of it and everything like that. Nice flat material. We also have his sunglasses, which we've seen before. You got the purple shades in there, or the purple, whatever you want to call it. What is it? Lenses, I guess you would say, with the goldish yellow going on, which looks pretty good. If you 
guys wanted to see what this looks like on the figure, we can plug this on, see what it looks like. And I think that works out well. I like the way the sunglasses fit on there. They fit on there pretty damn good, so I can agree with that. No issues from me right there. Nice sunglasses to go with the rest. And last but not least, he does have his gloved entrance hand. So I guess if he's cutting promos or he's doing his entrance, you have the mic holding or weapon holding gloved hands that you can see the fingernails through, which I don't like. So it would have been cool to see some sculpted gloved hands, but not the end of the world. You can't really see them that much anyways, but that is of note that you can see his fingernails through the glove mold right there. But these are the black gloved hands and they look pretty good. But now that we have covered his accessories, let's take a closer look at Jericho himself. So taking a closer look at Chris Jericho himself, guys, I wanted to start off with the jackets on the figure here. And I will say, before you put the jacket on, I feel like the best way to do that is to pop the head off, then slide the jacket on, like, you know, put his arms back like a real person would put on a jacket, slide the arms on, and then, you know, put the, uh, the head sculpt back on, just so you don't have to, like, fold the jacket up under the long hair. That way it goes right over the top there, really easy and really accessible. You know, make it user-friendly on yourself, pop the head off, then put the jacket on, then put the head back on. I think that will work out better for you. But I love the way it looks on the figure. Like, holy crap, looks amazing. I hope we get more stuff like this from AEW and Jazz Wears. I think it looks really, really clean. Kind of like the Series 1 Bucks that we saw. Any cloth goods accessories that we've gotten from Jazz Wears have been outstanding, so I want that to continue. And I think they nailed it with this jacket. Love the jacket. I think it looks really good on the Champion. And uh, let's go ahead and look, uh, look at the uh, white version. And there is the white version right there for Chris Jericho. And I like it, man. It kind of gives you two different looks. I like the way it looks a lot. I think they nailed, like, the differences here where it's not like, you know, it, it feels a lot different. It looks like you got two different jackets. It's not just like, oh, it's the same jacket, but, it'll, you know, just change the color. No, it's a completely different jacket. Like, it's very nice. I love the way it looks on the figure again. Kind of reminds me of, like, a button-down open, though, I will say. Like, it doesn't really give me blazer vibes, but it totally works, you know. Or maybe it's supposed to be an open white shirt. I don't know. But I, I like the way this looks. They it came out great fits the figure well and all those things i think the articulation is still pretty much there you know you don't have to worry about anything like that like it can still move really well and all that if you want to bend him over like i yeah I, I like the way it looks on the figure i think they did an excellent job on that but there is the white coat compared to the pink coat give him a little 360 spin again do the uh uh you know the the head removal deal and then take off the head put the jacket on and then you know put the head back on i think that would give you your best bet but let's go ahead and take a look at what he looks like without the jacket on period and he's just bare, bare bone. So getting into the Jericho figure itself, man, starting out with the head sculpt. This is the Series 6 head sculpt that we have seen. So this is our, I mean, I guess you can count color variations. This is like our fourth or fifth head sculpt. You had the ringside exclusive, a little bit of the bubbly. You had the Series 1A. You had the Series 1B. You had the Series 6. So that's our fourth iteration of the head sculpt. We are going to compare it to the rest of the Jerichos, but I like it. I think it's a solid head sculpt. I think it would have been cool to get a new one or like a, a rehash of the smiling ringside exclusive, except in a different skin tone. I think that would have also been cool. Nonetheless, we've seen the head sculpt before. Same Chris Jericho flabby torso. Same Chris Jericho torso. You got the black wrist tape. All his tattoos are looking great as we've seen on all the AEW figures. And then from the crotch down, it is the same mold as every other Chris Jericho. No knee pads, so it makes his kneecaps look tiny. And he has the same Jericho boots. They're all black here. You got all black pants right here. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. You don't get a ton of variety with this Jericho. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna explode the universe with this Jericho. There's not a lot going on. It's all about the jackets. It's all about the accessories is what I'm finding. And that's okay, I guess. You know, I'm not really uh, too, too, I'm not too upset about it, but it is just something worth noting that Chris Jericho is pretty plain Jane in this, in this figure outside of its beautiful accessories. But let's take a look at some Chris Jericho figure comparisons. So for your Chris Jericho figure comparisons, guys, we do have the brand new Amazon exclusive in the middle. You have the series six on the right with his accessories. And I did throw on the elite 84 Kushida shirt right there to give him kind of a different promo look. You have the Series 1A over there, the Series 1B right here, and then the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly over there, and all three of these are matching in pants. You have the kind of like Wolverine or X-Men style gear with just like black and yellow here on the Series 6, and then in the middle you just have the solid black. So all of them are pretty much similar, man. So if you missed out on a little bit of the bubbly, you missed out on the Series 1A, the Series 1B, the Series 6, this one would be great because you get all of those accessories. You don't get the AEW Championship, but you get two jacket accessories that could go in your other Chris Jerichos in your collection. You get the glasses, you get the, you know, you get the bandana, you get the AEW microphone, you get the entrance gloves as well. So if you missed out on those, these are these are definite options for you. We also have the four-pack that's supposedly coming soon. We have the Luminaries Chris Jericho coming soon. We also have the 
that AEW Shop exclusive that's coming soon. And then he is also in Series 8, and he's the Chase variant in Series 8. Not to mention the Chase variant that is in Series 1, and the Chase variant that is in Series 6. So we have quite the bit of Chris Jericho action figures from Jazzwares and AEW, and I'm sure they will continue to pump them out. And I love Chris Jericho, so it's really not going to bother me, but it would be nice to see some differ differentiation in the tights, because they're so similar. Like, I guess if you get a new jacket or, or something like that, or a new shirt, like on some of them, that would be okay. But, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Before we proceed any further, guys, I did want to go ahead and put these on some Mattel figures, so you guys can kind of see the scale here. And I feel like, I mean, they definitely work. Like, I think you could ab absolutely make this work for, like, a pic fed or a photo op or, or something like that. You may even, you can work it on your displays as well, but I did want to see what these look like before I proceeded, just so anybody that was thinking about picking these up and didn't know if they would fit Mattel or how they look on a certain figure, I did go ahead and put the pink one on this Seth Rollins right here, and then I put the white shirt on my plain black Seth Rollins over there, just to kind of give you a look there if you wanted to put it on Seth Rollins. I know there's other guys that you could have put them on, but these were the most accessible at the moment, and I figured, you know, you guys would want to see that. So there it is. I think it works if you want to pull the trigger on it. It's not perfect, I don't think, but I think it could definitely get the job done. I think you'll be pretty satisfied with the way it looks, but you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you guys like the jackets on the Mattel figures. But there we go with the uh, comparison to Mattel, how they fit them. But I think that pretty much wraps up this Amazon exclusive AEW Unrivaled Chris Jericho gear pack figure, man. I really like it a lot. I think that if you, if you don't really care about the jackets, then I wouldn't even grab it, man. You're basically buying this for the jackets. I think if you've missed out on every Jericho, go ahead and fork out the extra money for this one. Don't, you know, pay the outrageous Amazon price, but $29.99, you know, especially if you have Prime, this is a no doubter for me. I think it looks great in package if you're a mock collector. I love the way the jackets look. It gives me kind of that Jax gear pack vibe to it, and it makes sense because Jeremy's along in this, and he's a fantastic beast in this deal, so I love it, man. I think they did a great job on it. I enjoy the figure. I think if you guys enjoy Chris Jericho, you should grab it. I mean, it's a must-have to the AEW figure collection, especially if you're missing a Chris Jericho figure, man, but that is pretty much going to wrap up this video on the Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho gear pack figure, man. Love it. Love it to death. I think you guys are going to get a lot of enjoyment. Not a lot of differences between this one and the other, but the jackets are really worth it, especially, again, if you don't have a Chris Jericho. This is fantastic. I enjoy it, but that's going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line. You cross the line.